Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the DNS probe finish NX domain in Google Chrome. So if you're getting an error specifically that says the DNS lookup failed, um, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to just jump right into it here. And we are going to start by right clicking on the network icon in the bottom right corner of our taskbar. So depending on if you're using a wireless or Ethernet connection, the icon will look a little bit different. Since I'm using an Ethernet connection, it looks like this. If you're using a wireless connection, it'll look like a wireless signal with those traditional lines, kind of look like a satellite icon. So you want to right click on it. And then left click on where it says Open Network and Sharing Center. Left click on the left side where it says change adapter settings. Now whichever network is active here, you want to right click on it. And then left click on properties. Where it says internet protocol version 4, left click on it and then left click on the properties button that becomes on grayed out right down here so left click on that the bottom area where it says obtain DNS server address automatically left click on the option or selection below that says use the following DNS server addresses for the preferred DNS server you want to type in aid and then using your mouse go to the next area then left click on that and then type aid Next area over, left click in that, 8, 8. The reason I say using your mouse because if you type them all in one area, it'll look like this. And you do not want more than one evenly spaced out in each one of these selections. And then the alternate DNS server, you want to make it 8.8.4.4. This is Google's own DNS server. Um, you can look it up for yourself. I might even have a link to it in the description of the video to a Wikipedia page that explains that this is Google's DNS server address. So you can left click on OK, or actually I'd recommend left clicking this little box that says validate settings upon exit, because if you make a mistake, it's good that you know right away. So left click in there, and then left clicking on OK. And then you can close out of these Ethernet property window. So right now it's just going to run a Windows Network Diagnostic Scan to make sure everything is good. See it couldn't identify any problems, so that's a good sign. Close out of here. If that did not work for you guys, there's something else we can try. And that would be to head over to the Start button and right click on it. Left click on where it says Command Prompt and then in parentheses Admin from this menu. If you receive a User Account Control window, select Yes. Now what you want to do is type in IP config space forward slash release and then hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done typing that in, you want to type in IP config space forward slash all. Then hit enter again on your keyboard. And then you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS should be one word then hit enter on the keyboard again we see that we have successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache and now we want to type in IP config space forward slash renew and then hit enter on the keyboard just be patient here it'll take a moment there we go once we're done doing that you want to type in net sh space INT space IP space set another space DNS and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to type in NET SH space Winsock space reset and then hit enter on your keyboard once again. It'll ask you to restart your computer to complete the reset. So I'd recommend closing out of the command prompt window, 
restart your computer and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.